Hey folks, back in the farm doing some maintenance and today we're replacing our current PDUs uh, with metered PDUs so we could get a better idea as to the total amps being pulled uh, by each line of rigs. Um, as you can see here, one of the first ones we put in uh, was this trip light. Uh, I'll put the model number in the description. Uh, as you can see, uh, each bank pulling about 11 amps. Uh, we're on 30 amp lines, and so our total uh, continuous draw, uh, we need to put at around 24, 80%. And so right now, uh, this bank and this bank, uh, both pulling 11, so I put this as 22, uh, so we're just under, uh, seems good to me. Uh, this bank has on the right hand side 12 1080 Ti and 12 1060 6 gigabyte. And on the left here, uh, we have 12 1060 6 gigabyte. And actually we, uh, we split it up a little bit to even the load each bank. Uh, line number two, we just put in uh, this new trip light. It's a longer version. Again, I'll put the model number in the description. And right now, we've got 11 on the right-hand side and eight on the top. Uh, the right-hand rigs is uh, seven times 1070 Ti plus six times RX 580. And on the left, six times RX 580 and eight times 1060 6 gigabyte. And this is the one we're working on right now back here. This is the one I've had the biggest uh, questions on. We have a 13 times 580, which is gonna be pulling a lot. And on the left here, seven times 1070 Ti plus eight times 1066 gigabyte. Uh, here are the old PDUs that we had. Uh, these trip light, they're unmetered. They're still 30 amp, but they're unmetered. Um, now you can do the math, and I've done the math on really every single part of this, and I overkill the hell out of it, for instance. These 1060s, you know, they each get their own dedicated cable uh, when, you know, you can split them off ATX power supplies. You don't have to do it like I did it. I just overkill the hell out of it. Um, but even with doing the math up and down, it's really hard with this many components to get a true sense of the wattage and the amps. And so the wattage, I just uh, do an 80% calculation on each power supply to make sure it's within limit. Uh, but the amps was my real question to see how much more I can expand. I have four 208-volt, uh, 30-amp circuits. And so I'm kind of looking around to where, see where I can fit more. Uh, and with these metered PDUs, I'll get an idea as to the total amp draw. Uh, so as of right now, like this amp miner pulls uh, six amps just by itself. Um, so that's like, uh, that's like a whole rig. Uh, and so right now I'm kind of playing around with the amp loads. Right now I have the uh, seven 1070 Ti's on this upper bank. Uh, and it just came online. So it's pulling about five amps. And now I'm below the amp liner by itself, six amps. Uh, so I could put both of those on one. And then I could potentially put uh, 13 580's on the other bank. Uh, although I suspect that it's gonna be pulling more than 50% of my allowance and so I do have another of these metered PDUs to put in and so all in this will give me a better sense of what I have to play with where I can expand you know add a car here and there uh, to some of the rigs that can uh, allocate uh, or can accept uh, additional cars to the M2 slot or wherever uh, and possibly shuffle things around to get maybe another rig in here because I am basically at capacity uh, around 100 GPUs um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that I really want to have the electrician come in and put in another circuit because my panel is full and that would require a sub panel um, that's it that's the update check out the meter PDUs if you're expanding into a larger size farm uh, it'll give you peace of mind and when you walk in you can just kind of glance down and make sure that you're within the safe operating limits uh, you don't want to guess this I mean you can do the math all day but again uh, I feel a little more comfortable having a digital readout tell me uh, sort of what I'm at and when it comes to these high voltage lines you know if you're using a 120 volt 110 volt uh, kilowatt or watt man or something that tells you your total wattage from the wall um, those kind of things just don't exist for high voltage 
I mean, they do, but they're quite expensive. They tie into the line, or, or you'll have to break open the panel and put a clamp on it uh, to see how many amps you're pulling. And you can't put the clamp around the whole line because it cancels out. You can only put it around one leg. And so uh, these meter PDUs uh, kind of take the edge off. They don't tell you the watts, but uh, you can kind of do the math from there and see where you are. So anyway, that's the update. Appreciate you watching. Uh, leave a like. And uh, we'll see you next time.